What is up heroes, this is Midnight Zero, and welcome to Let's Play Portal 2 Blind. I played through the first Portal a few months ago actually, and I had a blast with it. And a lot of you guys enjoyed watching me play through it as well. I was really impressed with the puzzle mechanics, I was really impressed with the story, and I had a lot of questions at the end of it that I definitely wanted answered, and um, I definitely wanted to play more, and you guys wanted to watch more. So here we are with the second game. I want to thank again the patrons who were the, the, the people to suggest playing Portal in the first place. That, have, that has led to this incredible sequence of games. And like I said, this is 100% blind. I have no idea what happens in Portal 2. The only thing I know is that it's co-op, if you want it to be. So beyond that, I, I'm completely clueless. It's been a little bit since the first Portal, so my memory might be a little bit fuzzy, but I'm sure that things will get back into uh, you know the swing of things as we play. And with that being said, we'll we'll hop right into it. The graphics are already a huge bump up compared to the first one, at least. At least that's how it seems. And it looks like there's a whole bunch of like wreckage and runes and everything. It's a little bit more dystopian, or not quite as polished as the first you one. You have been in suspension for 50 days. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. Extended relaxation when center. Huh. Buzzer, look up at the ceiling. Good. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look down at the floor. Good. This completes the gymnastic portion of your mandatory <laughs> physical and mental wow. exercise. Quite the physical exercise. Looking up and down. Wall. Please go stand in front of it. This is art. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the art. You should now feel mentally reinvigorated. The sex staring at art has not provided the required intellectual, intellectual sustenance. sustenance. Reflect briefly on this classical music. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, art and music. Good. What I now, need to remain to mentally invigorated. Please return to my bed. I don't want to go back to my bed. That was literally like 10 seconds. It's like 10 seconds. And I just like literally looked up and down. What is this extended relaxation? I feel like it's uh, a front for something qu quite a bit more devious. So I can still jump with the space bar. Good morning. You have been in suspension for nine, 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 nine. Hello? Anyone in there? The Hello? Yikes. Any test subject, Are you going to open the door at this time? At any time? Will to have exercised his or her Hello? Remain in extended nope. relaxation. Are you going to open this door? Because it's, fa it's fairly urgent. Sorry, Wheatley, I'm trying to listen to the announcement. Seems like things have uh, taken a turn for the worse, from how it looks, at least. Hola, amigo. la puerta. Donde esta... No, um... Fine. No. Fine. Ah! Oh, God. You look... Um... Good. Looking good, actually. Are you okay? <laughs> are, are you... What, don't answer that. I'm absolutely sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just take it. Please slowly. prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay calm. Stay, stay calm. Prepare. <laughs> it's all the same. Prepare. It's all fine. All right? Don't move. I'm going to get us out of here. Oh, what, you what? might huh? hang on to something. Word of advice. Up to you. Wait, wait, what can I hang on to? Huh? I'm, I'm going to hang out in the closet, it seems. How are we... what are we even in? Are we in like a little pod or something like that? Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's now <laughs> out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious, serious brain damage. Brain damage. <laughs> but don't be alarmed, all right? Uh, although if you, do, if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do you understand <laughs> what I'm saying? I love this character already. This make any sense? Just tell me, just say yes. Let's give you a nice little nod. Okay, what you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you, just, you just jumped, but never mind. Say apple. Apple. Okay, you know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. <laughs> I know that you can. Safeguards are now What's it called? Please prepare for reactor core meltdown. What? Reactor core meltdown? 
What? Okay, look, I wasn't gonna mention this to you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. How are you doing down there? You still Yikes. holding on? The reserve power ran out, so of course the whole relaxation center stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Hold on, this is a bit tricky. And of course, nobody tells me anything. No, why should you tell me anything? <laughs> why should I be kept informed? You know, about the life functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of. Whoa, 10,000? Right, right, each of us is in one of these pods, it seems. I'm not gonna make it through, but I love space. Why us? Uh, just, just gotta get through here. I, I just gotta concentrate. <laughs> and whose fault do you think it's gonna be when the management comes down here and finds 10,000 flipping vegetables? Alright, so now I hit that one. I hit that one. Really? Did you hit it? I, I couldn't tell. Okay, listen. We should get our story straight, alright? If anyone asks, and no one's gonna ask, don't worry, but if anyone asks, <laughs> tell them as far as you know, the last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive. Alright? Not dead. This Wheatley okay, character is already a wonderful. On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're going to need to get out of here. I uh, think this is a I wonder station. if that's going to be our portal gun. Man, what a what a great introduction that already. Is, that is not a docking station. So that's <laughs> mystery solved. Uh, I'm going to attempt a manual override. Manual override. Could get a bit technical. Hold on. <laughs> I love the humor. I love the humor. Remember, you're looking for a gun that makes holes. Not, not bullet, bullet holes. holes. <laughs> Don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, oh, man. hold on this time. This is so funny. I love the writing, the dialogue, everything in between. There we go. Now, I'll be honest, you are probably in no fit state to run this. Hello. And again, welcome wow. to Wow. Science What a throwback to the old testing we track. Are experiencing technical difficulties due are to circumstances you? of potentially apocalyptic significance. What do we have we here? Control. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These <laughs> of course it can. Provide instructional and motivational support. So, so that science, science can, can still, be done, still be done. Even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. Gotta love science. And emergency testing will begin. Wow, three, what a throwback to the first two, game. One. This is hilarious. Wow, and what a such a throwback. And it looks so different. It looks so neat with all like the tool for science. Even in a dire emergency. If you do I bring it again? Testing caused this emergency, don't worry. The odds of this happening twice are very slim. If Cuban button-based testing caused it. Please note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This aperture science material emancipation grill will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through it. Wow. This game is beautiful. It looks so nice. And it's playing so smoothly. I know, I was going to say, I turned on subtitles at the recommendation from a first game. So thank you to the commenters in the first game who suggested that. And then secondly, I know there's a voice function in the options I saw. Just to avoid potential mishaps involving the microphone and recording audio, I turned that off as well. Neck. Relax, lie on your back, and apply immediate pressure to your temples. Yikes. You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation grill may have emancipated, emancipated the ear tubes. Inside your head. <laughs> emancipated. Love it. Wow. This is so neat, guys. Alright, let's activate this. Can activate that as well. Did I not hit the right button or did I not move quickly enough? So that opens up that portal and this should open up the door, right? Oh, I completely forgot about this one. So that opens up that. Let's, um. So we can go through here and get the cube. Again, apologies for, you know, taking a minute just to get re-antiquated with everything. So that was to get the cube. This is the one with the button, so we'll want to head over here. I thought we were on, like, a timer or something like that, so I'd have to, you know, hit a few buttons and do that all quickly. So if we drop that, then we should be good. 
Wow. I'm still so impressed with Good. the sound and the because visuals the and the, the humor already. Your test environment is unsupervised. Before oh, how lovely. A relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing. Please take a moment to write down the results of your test. An Aperture Science Reintegration Associate will revive you for an interview. Once society <laughs> has been rebuilt. Will revive us once society has been rebuilt. So society has apparently fallen completely. And we all know what happens at the end of these tests, right? So a whole bunch of people were in these relaxation centers and then the Earth is currently occasionally go through these king, testing centers or whatever. Or other governing body that either refuses to or is incapable of listening to reason. Yikes. That, um... Doesn't look too promising. Animal King Takeover. <laughs> that looks like one of the robots from Aperture. That's pretty funny. Is this just a reenactment? Or is it actual description? What do we have in here? Hello there. Hey, you made it. Yeah, it here I am. Portal Yikes. Well, that didn't turn out so well. Can you see the portal gun? Also, are you alive? <laughs> Should have asked that first. Whoa. I want to take a look at some of these drawings. And assuming I can locate your dead body, I'll bury you. Brilliant. Go team. See you in an hour. If you're not dead. That's so funny. So, what's going on with these drawings? We have all these people that are clearly not in the best of shape. And we have this thing with the... Is that the companion cube? Yeah. There's the cake with the portal gun. This machine offering... I mean, that's GLaDOS, obviously. Offering the cake. The companion cube. There, there's got to be a start and an end to it, I think. So, here are all the scientists presumably making GLaDOS. What's going on here? Is that us from the first game? I think it is. How long has it been since the first game? The portal gun, the portal gun defeating GLaDOS potentially? I, I'm trying to f figure it all out, but it's really cool looking nevertheless. So now we can go up here. Anything else of interest? Now, apparently there were some hideouts I missed in the very first game, so I'll, I'll be a little bit more I guess, um, curious with exploring corners and all that jazz. I'm surprised and a little disappointed there are no radios for me to carry around with me for music. <laughs> Not that the audio design is, isn't already appreciated. Can head down here. Some emergency testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. Great. Rest assured that all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robots. For sure. <laughs> That's too funny. Oh, can I only do the the blue portals? I can. Not that it really matters a whole Good. lot, anyways. If you feel that a lethal military android has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics, please note it on your self-reporting form. A future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. <laughs> Once you've been revived and society has been restored, I'm sure. <laughs> okay, so on to the next level. Obviously these loading screens weren't around in the first game, but just given how much more polished this game looks, I, I'm not surprised and I'll gladly take the trade-off of loading screens for how beautiful this game has been this so next far. Test is very dangerous to help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death. Smooth jazz will be deployed in three, <laughs> two, one. This is awesome. I am loving this game already. <laughs> Portal 2 with a uh, good old... Oh, wait, I should have done a portal up there. It's all right. Or rather, I can't do the orange or portals yet, so... We'll be fine. That was really funny, though. Anything of interest over here? No? Maybe can't open that door? At least not yet. Regardless, we can progress. It's nice, and it, it's appreciated that they're reteaching some of the mechanics that are, you know, so integral to the very first game that, you know, most players who play the first game definitely got comfortable with, but maybe are a little bit rusty, right? So, what are we going to want to do? I see. 
It all makes sense. Alright. We can pick you up. And drop you over here. I missed my companion cube. Ah. Am I going to need a second one? Is it down here? It is. Great work. Cool. Because this message is being recorded. Any observations related to your performance are speculation on our part. Please disregard any undeserved compliments. <laughs> okay. My bad, I guess. Well, that works. But the message is pre-recorded. Aw. It's not, uh... Reacting to how wonderfully we're solving all these puzzles. So we can obviously go there, or we can maybe go up here. I'm going to see what's up here first. This looks like one of those hideouts. Unreason. So we've obviously got some physics going on here. Something with the cube. Is that a, is that a cube with cat features? We've got some gradients. <laughs> some calculus and all, but I'm... Some vectors. It's cool looking stuff, but I don't <clears throat> exactly see the... I can't quite decipher it, and I don't think we're expected to. And I don't, don't think that's the intent, given there are cats drawn all over and everything, but interesting. Whoever was here was clearly very intelligent, but also very clearly lost it. <clears throat> Let's see. Well, I guess we'll continue onward. Or who knows, maybe they just really like cats. <laughs> it's always a possibility. What's going on with this drawing here? Remember, your evacuation training is just literally just like walk. Like follow a group of people. How funny. Alright, Aperture, what have you been up to this time? Interesting. If the enrichment center is currently being bombarded with fireballs, meteorites, or other objects from space, please avoid <laughs> unsheltered testing areas wherever a lack of shelter from space debris does not appear to be a deliberate part of the test. <laughs> That's hilarious. Got this game. There we go. Okay, now... Let's see here. This is a pretty big open space. can obviously activate this, but I'm going to need a cube for it, so we'll want to work on that. I could potentially do some of those... Hmm. If that's where that is, it's not like I can... I could... No, I can't really do that. Let's see what's around this corner. So that leads there. How do I even activate them in the first place, though? Oh, there's a switch over here. What does the switch do? Oh, it's going to give me a cube. So, I could probably place the portal there, and that will deliver us a cube. Nice. The puzzle solving, the puzzle setups in the first portal were excellent, so I'm totally looking forward to those throughout the entirety of this playthrough. So, that will open that door. However, we obviously are going to need to do a little bit more. Um... We're going to get a cube from there. It's going to come out there. And then what does this switch do? Ah, I see. Bring it up. There we go. And our, our cube is ready for us. Cube delivery service has been productive. Oh. Jump. Jump random test subject, I don't know who you are. Well done. The enrichment center reminds you that although circumstances may appear bleak, you are not alone. All aperture science personality constructs will remain functional. <laughs> personality constructs. As as 1 .1 <clears throat> That's really funny. Thanks, Wheatley. For what it's worth, Wheatley is quite the personality construct. Absolutely hilarious. Wouldn't mind, well, the, the sarcasm and humor that comes with Wheatley for even just a few minutes. Talk about a strong start to a game. This okay. This test applies the principles of momentum to movement through portals. If the laws of physics no longer apply in the future, 
God help you. <laughs> um, what's going on with you? It just says, please remain calm. And there's all this stuff going on. There's this person just looks around and just like waving. Hey, good to see you too. Okay. Portal physics. Woo. All right. And then, of course, now we're going to fall through here. I don't know where we're going, but presumably that's what we needed to do. And I probably should have. Yeah. I think I needed to get that first. Oh, wait, no. That's not the case. I needed to put a portal through there so that the cube goes through here and then probably put the cube through there. Gotcha, gotcha. It's all making sense. So let's fire our portal through there. There's the cube. So, those are some crows or ravens or whatever? It's not the most appealing of birds to encounter. Also, one second. All right, so we've got this, this cube we need to get through here. Let's fire a portal. And we can probably just hang on to the cube as we go through the portal, I think. Can we? I feel like I'm better off dropping it. Did it go? It did! Nice. If you are a non-employee who has discovered this facility amid the ruins of civilization, welcome. And remember, testing is the future. And the future starts with you. <laughs> How comforting. All right, now, ooh, we've got some places we can put portals up there. We got a portal down there. This music and everything. So I guess what we can do is go through here with the hopes of making our way all the way over here. We can grab this cube. The question is, what do we need to use the cube for at the moment? I don't really know. I think what I'm going to end up doing is placing a portal like way up there. And then we can drop with the cube. Like that. And we still have our cube. A little mangled and all, but fine enough. Can I break this glass? No. <laughs> Why? And there's just, you know, no wall right next to it. You guys are like, oh my god, he's such an idiot. Okay, so we've got that platform there. So it looks like the next thing we're going to have to do is propel ourselves up there. I think that the best way to do so is from all the way up here. Good work getting this far, future starter. That said, if you are simple-minded, old, <laughs> or irradiated in such a way that the future should not start with you, please return to your primitive tribe and send back someone better qualified for testing. What? Primitive tribes? Testing and all that? And I thought it was funny, we like, just barely landed on the platform and then immediately flew off from like the momentum. So they, there is some sort of curation to who is tested and who is not tested, it seems. Which is not too surprising, I guess, given that there are 10,000 people. And for any sort of experiment, you need to rigorously identify um, to participation criteria or inclusion criteria. But All safety devices have been disabled. The Enrichment Center respects your right to have questions or concerns about this policy. <laughs> and questions and concerns I do have. Hey, it's oh, Wheatley. Wait, you did find a portal gun. Oh, the, do you know what? It just goes to show people with brain damage are the real heroes in the end, aren't they? At the end of the day. <laughs> Brave. Pop a portal on that wall behind me there, and I'll meet you on the other side of the room. Sounds good. Whoop. Here we are. Okay, listen, let me lay something on you here. It's pretty heavy. They told me never, never, ever to disengage myself from my management rail, or I would die. <laughs> we're out of options here, so get ready to catch me, all right, on the off chance that I'm not dead the moment 
I pop off this thing. Oh boy. On three. Ready? It's not gonna be on three. One. There's no way it's gonna be on three. Two. Three. That's high. It's w it's too high, isn't it? Really, that. All right, going <laughs> on three just gives you too much time to think about it. Let's uh, go on one this time. Okay, ready? One. Catch me, catch me. Ow. I tried. I tried. I was hitting E. Five. I'm not dead. I'm not dead. <laughs> Plug me into that stick on the wall over there, yeah? And I'll show you something. You'll be impressed by this. That stick on the wall. Oh, um, there you go. Yeah, I can't do it if you're watching. <laughs> Seriously, I'm not, I'm not joking. Could you just turn around for a second? I turned around. All right, you can turn around now. That's Bam. hilarious. Secret panel. That I opened while your back was turned. Pick me up. Let's get out of here. I don't know, you and your secrets, I might just leave you behind. Look at this! No rail to tell us where to go! Oh, this is brilliant. We can go wherever we want. Let's go. <laughs> where are we going? Wheatley's having a great okay, time. Just get my bearings. Um, just follow the rail, actually. Oh, no. Yes, hello, we're not stopping. Don't make eye contact, whatever you do. No, thanks, we're good. Appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> Aw, poor, poor turret. Wheatley is so funny. It's interesting, they told Wheatley, you know, this personality construct, not to leave the management railings. Of course, because in this sort of dystopian future, even the personality construct robots to bring you up to speed on something right now. are repressed like humans. We're going to have to go through her chamber, and she will probably kill us if, if she's um, awake. GLaDOS, presumably? Ah, yes, this looks awfully familiar. Okay, I'm gonna lay my cards on the table. I don't want to do it. I don't want to go in there. Don't, don't go in there. She, she's off. She's off. Don't panic over. She's off. All fine. On we go. Is she really off though? There she is. What a nasty piece of work she was. Honestly, like a proper maniac. Do you know who ended up? Uh, do you know who ended up taking her down in the end? You're not gonna believe this. A human. I know. I know. I wouldn't have believed either. Apparently, this wow. human escaped, and uh, nobody's seen him since. Then there was a sort of long chunk of time where. Um, Absolutely nothing happened. And then there's us escaping now, so um, that's pretty much the whole story. You're up to speed. Don't touch it. Wow. So that at least okay, puts things in a little bit of context, stairs. right? Right? Jump. Regarding the first game and the timeline and all that. Oh, that's quite a distance, isn't it? Okay, you know what? Uh, go ahead and jump. You've got, you've got. Ah! Oh, still held. Still being held. You that's a great job. You've got one <laughs> the We're all fine. That's tremendous. Wheelie, you are so funny. You're so funny. Wheatley alone would make this game worth it. I listen to like a Wheatley podcast. <laughs> ah, I just sorry, I just looked down. I do not recommend it. We're gonna look ah, down. Done it again. Can do it again. More more dialogue. This is the main breaker room. Wow. Let's go in. The main breaker room indeed. Look for a switch that says escape pod. All right, don't touch anything else. Not interested in anything else. Don't touch Are anything else. Are you kidding else. me? Don't, don't even look at anything else. Just, well, obviously you've got to look at everything else to, to find the escape pod. But as soon as you look at something that doesn't say escape pod, look at something else. Look at the next thing. All right, but don't touch anything else or look at anything. Well, look at other things, but don't. You understand. Can you we, see me? anywhere? You're so funny. Uh, tell you what, plug me in and I'll turn the lights on. Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna say, Wheatley, you've probably got a much better like shot at light. doing this. That's uh, God. Quoting God. <laughs> Turning. Ominous. But probably fine, as long as it doesn't start, you know, moving up. No. Here we go. Escape pod, escape pod. It's, it's moving up. Okay. Okay, no, don't, don't worry, don't worry. I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. <laughs> Just hits all of the breaker switches. Uh oh. <laughs> That's hilarious. Power up initiated. Okay, don't panic. All right, uh oh. Stop panicking. Uh, I can I can still stop this. Uh, Wait, did we just power up Glados? Oh, there's a, there's a password. Okay, it's fine. I'll just I'll just hack it. Not a problem. Um. A A A A A. Um. <laughs> Wheatley, Wheatley, you gotta get going faster, man. A, 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 Glados is booting up. Wheatley. Wait, did I do beat the jail pen? Start writing these down. Power up, complete. I don't. Okay, okay, okay. This. All right, new plan. Act natural. Act natural. Do nothing. <laughs> oh. It's you. You know her? It's been a long time. How have you been? Are we the same human? I've been really busy being dead. You know, after you murdered me. You did what? Uh, um. Oh no! No, 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 no! 
Um. Hey, Glados. You know, I'm really sorry, but I've uh, I got a thing. Things that you're going to regret. But I think we can put our differences behind. No, Wheatley. No. You monster. Wheatley, no. That since you went to all the trouble of waking me up, you must really, really love to test. I love it too. There's just one small thing we need to take care of first. Wasn't that an incinerator? Wasn't that an incinerator that we just got dropped into? And no, GLaDOS is alive again! Poor GLaDOS though, really. Poor Wheatley. I'm gonna miss Wheatley so much. They do such a good job of attaching you, or, you know, getting attached to Wheatley and everything. Oh my goodness, is this... The incinerator room. Yeah. Be careful not to trip over any parts of me that didn't get completely burned when you threw them down here. The dual portal device should be around here somewhere. Once you find it, we can start testing, just like old time. Dang, she sounds so much more... Devious, evil than before. There it is. Hold on. Wait, how can Glados see everything down here? There. Good. You have a dual portal device. There should be a way back to the testing area up ahead. How? How does she even see where everything is? Also, darn. I, uh, Once I'm so sad starts, about Wheatley and everything. Protocol ...to keep interaction with you to a minimum. Luckily, we haven't started testing yet. This will be our only chance to talk. And I guess this means we're the same human, presumably? Okay. Let me get that for you. Do you know the biggest lesson I learned from what you did? I discovered I have a sort of black box quick save feature. In the event of a catastrophic failure, the last two minutes of my life are preserved for analysis. I was able, well, forced really, to relive you killing me again and again, forever. You know, if you'd done Yikes. that to somebody else, they might devote their existence to exacting revenge. Luckily, I'm a bigger person than that. I'm happy to put this all behind us and get back to work. After all, we've got a lot to do, and only 60 more years to do it. More 60? Nice. Huh? I don't have the actuarial tables in Why specifically me. 60? But the important thing is you're back. With me. And now I'm on to all your little tricks. So there's nothing to stop us from testing for the rest of your life. Yikes. After that, who knows? I might take up a hobby. Reanimating the dead, maybe. Dang. GLaDOS, GLaDOS means business this time around. Yeah, so I guess we're presumably the same human, but how did we end up back in one of those relaxation centers after we had escaped? Especially when Wheatley said that nobody's seen him since. Obviously, Wheatley, though, has been tied to the information that the probably Aperture has been feeding him. So is the accuracy of what Wheatley knows really, you know, that accurate? I don't know. And we started Chapter 2. What is Sorry about the mess. out here? I've really let the place go since you killed me. By the way, thanks. <laughs> thanks for that. For that. Sarcasm self test complete. Oh, good. That's <laughs> I'll start getting everything else working while you perform this first <coughs> simple test, which involves deadly lasers and how test subjects react when locked in a room with deadly lasers. Dang, that doesn't sound like a very fun first test. And also, Gladys is powering up all these different things while we're going through all these tests again. We're, yeah, that's gonna be that much more difficult to escape from, you know, the setting and everything a second time when Gladys is already on to us, right? So regardless, I really, really enjoyed this first episode and we're going to continue off with chapter two and the real testing with Glados in the next episode. Again, uh, you know, all the portal mechanics are coming back. I'm looking forward to getting into the puzzles. The characters are already excellent. We saw Wheatley and the humor and Rip, Rip Wheatley, <laughs> who is so fun to listen to and absolutely hilarious. And I guess GLaDOS is back from the dead and ready to exact some revenge, so hopefully we can manage to escape yet again. I don't know how we're going to do so this time around, but regardless, I'm looking forward to figuring it out. And I hope you guys are looking forward to the remainder of the playthrough as well. So, anyways, until next episode, this is Moon Knight Zero, and this mission is complete. <laughs>